One of the areas of the vision science program is biomedical optics and instrumentation. And um, some of the innovations we've made in the program are really interesting, so I, I, I want to tell you about them. One is an adaptive optics scanning laser ophthalmoscope. Using techniques developed in astronomy, we can look into the living human eye and see detail that we've never been able to see before. We can now see individual fovi foveal cone photoreceptors. And uh, this is really useful because non-invasively we can look in a patient's eye and see if there's some signs of disease that might require treatment or intervention. Another innovation is a fast switchable lens display. This is a 3D display that has a lens incorporated in it that can change at a very high rate. And this allows us to create a true volume of uh, viewing distances so the viewer can look through it to a far point and see that come into sharp focus or can look close and see that point come into sharp focus. And uh, this is kind of the next wave of stereo 3D displays that we hope will replace what's currently going on in television and, and cinema. And it allows us to answer questions about what causes some people to become uncomfortable when they watch uh, 3D. Finally, we have a mobile binocular eye tracker that allows us to track both eyes to see where a person's looking when they're engaged in normal everyday activities and uh, how far away they're looking. And coupled with it is a stereo camera that allows us to at the same time see the scene, the three-dimensional scene that the person is looking at so we can yoke the two together. There are theories of how the two eyes are combined in the brain that date back to the 18th century that we can test with this instrument uh, for the first time. Um, also, it's important to think about where our graduates go, uh, what kind of jobs they end up with. And we've been very successful in, in this regard. Uh, many end up in academic positions as professors of optometry, vision science, um, neuroscience, psychology, physiology, bioengineering. Uh, many end up in industry. Our graduates are involved in designing contact lenses, spectacles, in designing and evaluating computer displays and televisions. They're also involved in uh, writing software that can be best seen by a human eye. And our graduates have this unique perspective. On the one hand, they have a technical background, but at the same time, they understand how the eye works, and that puts them in a unique place to um, work in this emerging environment. Uh, so we're very pleased with how we've done in placing our graduates, both in academia and in industry.